We're going to spend a little time in this unit analyzing patterns and in particular for this lesson we're going to be looking at patterns and describing them using words. And let's go on to the first pattern here. Oh look at that, we got a bunch of plus signs, how beautiful. We got a plus sign and another plus sign and another plus sign, they keep growing bigger so maybe there's a pattern happening here and there is. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label the diagram numbers on this chart and you do the same. Just write one, two, three. We've got three diagrams, and then count the number of blocks, and we're going to count five here, and this looks like, what is that, nine, and here we got four, 13, and so now we got some data. We got some data over here. We're going to describe this pattern. What is happening? What I urge you to do is to look at these numbers and notice something, that they're getting, they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger by four. And from 9 to 13 is another 4. We're adding 4 blocks. But Mr. Melham, what does it mean to describe the pattern in detail? What is that talking about detail? Well, what that means is be really specific. Are we adding 4 blocks? Yes. Are we adding them anywhere we want? No, we're not. We're not adding these blocks anywhere we want. Look closely here. If you look at this here, this is a central block. And we are adding four blocks to this here. They go around the arm, around the, the, the center arm. They make arms. Now, if you look at this here, if we take this diagram, and let's say we add a block here, and we add a block here, and a block here, and a block around each arm, look, it turns into this one. And then if we add a block on this arm, and this arm, and this arm, and that arm, look, it looks like that one. So we are adding these blocks in specific areas. We're adding them around the arms. So that's what we're going to write in the detailed part. Now I'm going to type this out. As you know, my writing is a little bit challenged. So I will type it out. You write it out, though. So let's say start with a central block and surround it with a block on each side to make a plus sign. I'm going to shrink this down and make some room. Let's do that. That is diagram one. For each subsequent diagram, it's a lot of work writing this out. Yeah, no kidding, it's a lot of work. We're writing all these sentences out. For each subsequent diagram, add four more blocks, one around each, or one on each arm, one on each arm. That is the pattern. Let's make it red so it stands out. And we're done. Now you can write this in your own way. This is just my way of explaining it. You may have a better way, maybe a more clearer way. That is fine. How many squares will there be in the fourth diagram? Let's figure that out. So we'll write four over here and come on, Mr. M, really, you kidding me? Just add four more. Yeah, that's it. You just make 17 then. Add four more, you get 17. Look at this pattern. We've got four diagrams instead of three. So we'll write one, two, three, four. And we'll count the number of blocks. We've got one here. We got three in this one. We've got five. And what is that? Seven. But you know what's so interesting on this? I've written this out before I, just to have it ready, just to save it a little bit of time. You can go ahead and write it out. But look what I wrote. I wrote diagram one has one block. Yes, it does. Diagram two, stack two blocks on top of each other. What does that mean? It means stack two blocks. Here they are. Here's two blocks. Stack them on top of each other and connect them to the right side, right, to the right. We're not putting it on the left side of the last block. We're connecting it to the right side of it, to the right side of the highest block of the previous structure. So the previous structure to this one would be the one block. We're going to connect two blocks to the right side of it to make this one. Now for this one here, for this next one, what we did was we connected two blocks to the highest part of the last one. What is the highest part of the last one? Well, if you look, it is right there. We connected two blocks stacked on top of each other to the right side of it to make that one, which is what this one is. And then we repeated that process over and over again. That's called descriptive 
details. You're telling me how the pattern is growing. So you can go ahead, pause the video, write this out. I'm going to, oh, wait, look, we got a spot here. Let's put diagram five. Mr. M, give me a break. This is easy. Put nine. Yeah, you're right. Let's move on. Oh, Mr. M, I don't remember my fractions. Uh, that was a long time ago. You know what? You don't even have to know fractions. All you got to understand is patterns to do this. So let's take a look at this. If you know nothing about fractions, what you will see here is you'll see a bunch of numbers. And hopefully you can come up with a pattern. We got 1 over 9 equals decimal 1 with a line. That funny line just means repeat the 1. It means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we got 1 over 9 equals decimal 1 with a line on top. 2 over 9 makes decimal 2 with a line on top. 3 over 9, decimal 3 with a line on top. Hmm. What is the pattern here? Ladies and gentlemen, all you got to do is take that numerator and repeat it. Write zero decimal and then the numerator repeated. That's it. Now, how do we write that out? Let's pick, okay, what color do you want? Feeling like red again? Ah, I heard somebody say blue. No, blue matches there. Let's do purple. Okay, let's do purple. So we can write, write down, let's write this, let's write it right. Zero decimal followed by the numerator of the fraction then write a line on top of that digit. How does that sound? I think that's pretty good. Is that what's happening? We write zero decimal and then we take the numerator and we write a line on top of it. That's it. Mr. M, what do you mean write five is a decimal number? You, no, write five. I made a mistake here. I made a boo-boo. Five over nine. Fix that up. We got to write five over nine as a decimal. So five over nine, what would that be as a decimal? Well, simply write zero decimal, take that numerator, and write a line over it. Done. How about the last one? Use the pattern to write decimal seven repeating as a fraction. So what if we wrote zero decimal seven with a line on top, what would the fraction be? Not hard. Look, just reverse it. Write that as your numerator and write a nine on the bottom. How about this calendar here? What's going on in this? Well, I got cal patterns and calendars. Oh yeah, baby, you got patterns and calendars. This is an exciting pattern. You're gonna love this pattern, I promise you. Look at this. Choose any four numbers, just four numbers that form a two by two square on the calendar. Here's a two by two square. Let's circle this one here. Let's put a box around these four numbers. Look, it's a two by two. They're all connected. Then it says multiply the diagonal numbers in the square. So you know what? That, these are diagonal. Let's multiply them. 9. And these are diagonal. 16. Okay. So far, we don't really see what's going on, but let's try it again. It says here, repeat using four different numbers. Okay, let's choose. Um, how about we choose some over here? Let's choose these ones. Let's multiply the diagonals. 4 times 12 is 48. And 11 times 5 is 55. Some of you are like, Mr. M, I see it. I see the pattern. Great. Keep it to yourself for the moment. Let's try now four more numbers. Let's. How about we go right to these ones here? I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is sick. Look what's going to happen. Multiply the diagonals. 28 times 20. Mr. M, I need my calculator. No, you don't. What's 2 times 28? That's easy. 56. And then put a zero for the 20 beside it. That's 560. So what about 27 times 21? What should it be based on the pattern that maybe some of you discovered? Look at that. 9 to 16 is add 7. 48 to 55, add 7. Wouldn't that be so cool if we added 7 and got 567? Wouldn't that be cool if I punched this in the calculator and it told us that number? That would be epic. Let's do this. 27 multiplied by 21. Drum roll, please. Moment of truth. 
Oh, baby, 567, it works out. Done. Ah!